These are the best AFK fish farms for Minecraft Bedrock, and as always, there will be a world download in the description. Alright, the first farm we're going to be building is the automatic fish farm. So the first thing you want to do is set down a chest, and then we're going to grab our trap doors. Place down two trap doors right here, two trap doors right here, and one on the back. Go ahead and open all of these up like so. And then jump up here and we're going to dig out a three by four by one block hole. So one, two, three, and then dig down four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and clear out the rest of this area now. Grab your chest. We're going to place down a double chest right here. This is going to be where all of the fish and books and all that fun stuff end up. So this is going to be where all of the drops go. We're then going to go ahead and place a hopper running into this chest like so. It's a little difficult, but once it's running in, we're good. You can go ahead and test it if you want by throwing a hopper in there. And just like that, we have a working hopper running into the chest. We're going to go ahead and place down a temporary block above the hopper now. Place down a rail on top of it and then a minecart hopper. Go ahead and break the temporary block now. It's going to fall on top and the rail is going to end up in here. You go ahead and grab that. Grab your sign now, we're going to place down this sign on the back side of this block in line with the minecart hopper. Grab a block again and place it right here. Go ahead and get out of here if you want. You can add a ladder here that would probably make it a little easier to get in and out considering this is going to be where the drops are. We're going to go ahead and place down another block right here and then grab your lava bucket and place it on top of that sign. Grab your banner now and place it at the front of this chest. And then grab your water buckets and we're going to go ahead and place down a water bucket right here and go ahead and waterlog that chest. And just like this, you have a fully functioning automatic fish farm. Again, having ladders here and maybe a trap door would make it a little bit more beneficial. That way you're not going to fall into the chest, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use it. All right, I went ahead and grabbed a fishing rod. All you have to do is look anywhere on the lower half of this banner right here connected to the chest. Go ahead and cast your rod like so. It's going to bounce up and down on the chest here. And then once you catch a fish, the bobber is going to fall into the lava which is then going to send the item into the hopper, which is going to go into the chest, and therefore making this automatic. So you're never going to miss another catch again. You don't have to worry about it. You can go make food, come back, and you'll have a fish caught. This is a super easy design, but of course, it's not AF cable, so it's not ideal. But this will work on all platforms, including mobile, console, all that fun stuff. So as you saw, we caught a fish there, we got the XP, and the drop is down here, so we have a raw cod. And if we went ahead and got some enchantments on this bad boy, like Luck of the Sea 3, Lure 3, Unbreaking 3, and Mending 1, then we would definitely get some better rates here and some better drops. An important note is that it's not really worth your time to enchant a fishing rod, because you're going to be catching tons and tons of fishing rods by using this farm, and then you can just throw those into an anvil and get a god tier fishing rod for like 3 levels. Alright, the next farm we're going to be building is the AFK fish farm, meaning that you need an auto clicker. So this one's only going to work on PC and some mobile devices. So if you can get an auto clicker on your device, then you can build this farm and I highly, highly recommend building it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're at least five blocks away from any water source blocks. So because these water sources are here, we want to be at least five blocks away from it. And the same thing goes for this design. I just forgot to mention it. So we're going to go ahead and move over five blocks like this. And then we're going to dig out two blocks right here and then two more blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a double chest right here. Run a hopper into that chest. Place down a fence post on top of the hopper. Place down a note block on the end of this block right here. Place down a pressure plate on top of this fence post. And then place down a block on top of this note block. And then place down an iron trap door right here so that when you walk into the pressure plate, it opens upwards towards the note block. We're going to go ahead and waterlog this fence post now, and that is the entire thing done. Look how incredibly simple this thing is. It is, it's just, I don't know, it's really simple. The other thing is that if you don't want this block here, you don't have to have it. But of course, leaving that block is going to make it so the note block doesn't make sound. If you remove the block, then the note block is going to chime every time you hit it. So I recommend having that block there. All right, I'm now going to show you how to use the farm with an auto clicker. So I have my auto clicker open here. I've set it to 800 milliseconds and I've set the mouse button to right click. That way it is going to be casting the rod. So if we go ahead and stand nice and close to this pressure plate without getting into the water, so just back up a little bit here. Might be a little difficult to get on the first try. Sneaking helps. And then just go ahead and line it up with the pressure plate and the iron trap door like this. 
go ahead and start your auto clicker and just like that you are now AFKing so this is going to get you tons of XP just by leaving this running overnight and it's also going to get you plenty of drops so I recommend having more than just one double chest but as you can see, we just caught our fish right there. Let's go ahead and stop the auto clicker. If we go ahead and take a look in here, you'll see that we have one raw cod as well. And we got the XP. So if we just stayed there with our auto clicker, we would continue to get fish and XP. And this is just super awesome. And again, the better enchantments, the better drops, the more enchantment books, all of that fun stuff. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Remember, there's world downloads in the description. Just go ahead and join my Discord and check out my second channel if you haven't already. Again, my name is 1FMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.